What's up, y'all? I'm Zaria. Logan. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Zaria and Logan. We are doing a How We Met video. Yeah. Detailed. And I know there are, there are, you know, people that are wondering. I mean, we've, yeah, made, of course. Quite, we've made quite a few couple couples vlogs by now. So, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's exactly. only a matter of time before we start talking about, you know, what we do, how we met, where we went on deployment, all this good stuff. Yeah. So, for starters, I am in the Navy. I get out in 20 days, but I'm in the Navy. And you are? In the Marine Corps. Yes. I've been in for just over four years. Mm -hmm. so. And we met on our deployment on my ship. So when you join the Navy, there are times where you will possibly go on deployment with Marines on your ship. And that's what happened with us. And it was just as many of him as it was ship's crew, which is the Navy personnel. For deployment in March. But before that all happened, I'll let him talk. All right. Because he's the one that noticed me first, so. So the Marines come on board, and there's like hundreds of Marines. At first, she was like, oh, man, this is pretty cool from what she told me. She didn't want to, she, she didn't really want to end what she was in. I didn't really want to end what I was in. Um, I started to see a few things before I left, and there was like mixed emotions, but I was like, all right, we're going to see where this goes. I'm going to trust trusting God, and mm -hmm. I'm just going to, you know, whatever. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to, like, it's not like we're gonna, you know, do anything crazy on deployment. And I, you know, I didn't know I was preparing myself emotionally because there was already things that people were telling me about this girl that I was with. And I started, I didn't really start to feel like that energy until after deployment. Oh gosh, right, like you and your ex seem so happy. You guys seem like you were like two peas in a pod. For those of you in a relationship, you understand, you put on a front so hard sometimes so that the outside people don't judge your relationship. Well, granted, he cared about me. He loved me to death. He would have done anything for me. You know, if you're watching this, I'm sorry with how things were. But at the end of the day, like, I was sacrificing myself. And I wasn't in love with him. And I just had to, I was battling, always praying to God. And trying, like, please tell me what I should do. I just noticed her. I had a bad feeling about things that were happening. And, um, I saw this cute girl checking weapons. And, uh. You know, I've always, I've always, like, I've always loved black women, and I, I somehow knew, you know, you, you have this gut instinct that tells you mm -hmm. things aren't going to work out. I would never physically cheat. I would never emotionally prepare myself to, well, I would prepare myself to, for things to go south and prepare yourself for the worst uh, situation or possible outcome with the person that you're with, mm -hmm. but I would never, like, go ahead and start talking with another female whenever I'm technically still with someone else. Yeah. Neither would she. Of course. So I never no. I never expected to, you know, meet someone that I would absolutely fall for head over heels. Mm -hmm. Neither did she. But um And I definitely I think it was went a few days I, I later. definitely went into this deployment with the mindset because the day I left my ex, you know, he walked me up to the pier and everything when we were leaving, I cried my eyes out on his shoulders. Like, I don't want to leave you, I don't want to leave you. Too. My ex did too. I was like, I don't want to leave you, I don't want to leave you. But that was just the emotional attachment part. You know, he was my home away from home. So I was I was attached to always having someone with me every single day, yeah. every step of the way. So I cried my eyes out. And then I did not think I was ever going to find the love of my absolute life on this deployment. But, you know, like you said, I was checking weapons. He saw me. And then what else? So, yeah, I took notice. Um, but we were moving it along. So I'm like, dang, okay. Yeah, this is, this is what we're going into here. We're going to have some good looking women. But I felt bad in the back of my head. I'm like, cause he had a girlfriend. So. You know, but yeah. I also knew like people were telling me this, look, you don't, there's a lot that you don't know about this girl, you know, not me, his ex. college girl. Yeah. Yeah. With, with my ex. So I'm like, all right, we get settled in. I go to the birthing, get everything put away. I'm walking around the ship. You know, I'm, I'm always like, I'm a curious dude. I'm looking around, like I'm going through the hangar bay and I see this girl again with her M4, her vest, you know, her cover, walking up the flight ramp, and I look up, and then I look back, and I walk around the corner, and I'm like, dang, hold on. <laughs> I walk back around, and I'm like, okay, I want to walk up there, but I don't really know what's going on. Like, we don't, we don't have any word passed. And like, this everyone... was like three months before we actually were on deployment. So just, just take note of that when we further get into it. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I went to walk back to my birthing, like close to it to like 
find someone else from my platoon because we didn't really have any word. Like in the Marine Corps, the military in general, some things like are, are so last minute, like you're basically on standby. Like, it's hurry and wait, hurry up yeah, to wait. Yeah, hurry up and wait. So we weren't really doing anything in the birthing. You know, it was our first time being on board and um, we had everything that, you know, people were walking around. I'm like, I don't know if I can walk up to the flight deck. I come back like 10 minutes later because like I, I see everyone's just going basically wherever they want to. And I go back up to the flight deck and like, I see her in the corner and she looked busy. Like she was like facing away from me. And as I'm walking up to her, I'm like, well, I'm gonna like try to say, hey, or something like that. And I, I saw she was on the phone. Come to find out it was probably either her mom or her ex. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm like, all right. I'm I can't tell keep, you. I'm just gonna keep walking. I went out to the flight deck. I walked around and did like a loop around the flight deck. And then he said like, I was gone. I disappeared. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I went back the same route, and yeah, nowhere to be found. Yeah, and then, so uh, yeah. with all that being said, right? So now, I've never, throughout all this, I haven't even noticed him, right? We go on deployment, and there's so many Marines, like, I mean, just new faces. It's like when you go to, when you're like a freshman going to high school. New faces everywhere, whole new environment, like everything has changed up. And so we're on deployment, you know, I'm still with my ex, obviously, and... You know, within like the first two weeks, we're heading Norway. And then we left Norway, went back to Norway. Then after Norway, we went to, where did we go? Estonia. So like about a month into a deployment, we were in Estonia. And then throughout this time, you know, you walk in the P ways, like the hallways. And you say hi to people, whether you know them or not. Sometimes like, hey, good morning, you know. And the whole time, there were several times where like we spoke, but I never took note of him. You ever like in high school or something like that, you like said hi to someone? But you never like pay attention to your face. You just speak yeah, and just yeah, be nice. Yeah. And that was with him. But with him, he noticed me, you know, the first moment yes, he got on board. So he's looking at it differently. I'm just like, hey, yeah, cool. Hi, bye. Like always in a rush type of thing. Yeah. So there I was did, this. I there, did notice you in the gym. I went to the gym. And I used to work in the gym at one point. On there was only like too. one time that I went in there before 11 a.m. I sat behind this desk just like like this and I just sat back and made sure people were like signing in, you yeah. know. Working for him. During, it was during COVID time, so I had to make sure a certain amount of people were walking into the gym with their mask on and everything. A lot of people knew her as that girl that would be like, hey, put on your mask, please. Yeah, people, the Marines were so annoyed at me, like yeah. so annoyed at me, but I had to do my job. I didn't want to get in trouble. It's either you get, like, scream my language, bitch that, or them, and I choose them mm -hmm. any day. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But um I mentioned Marines can be arrogant. Like I'm 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 saying that from one being one myself, you know. Yeah. But he, he saw me in the gym when I was sitting down there. Um he swore he spoke to me. I don't remember this man ever speaking to me. But you know, like I said, I I'm was trying to give mindset. myself I'm trying to give myself the benefit of the doubt here. She swears that I look good. I mean I had my mask on, but at the same time, like if my eyes were that and then enticing, you gotta think about it too, like I was in a relationship. Yeah, so every exactly. time I saw this man, I wasn't seeing him as like, oh, this dude's hot. Like, he's attractive. I saw him as like, he's a dude. I'm saying hi and bye. You know, I'm focusing on my relationship. So people out there want to call me a cheater. Like, I cheat him. That's not the case. No. I did not give a crap about any man on that boat other than my man at the time. I was going through so much in my yeah. head with him that like, I just couldn't even focus on anybody else. Mm. I was battling a lot between like, asking God what to do, the things I was going through. But yeah, anyways, that's the side point. And um, yeah, so he saw me in the gym. He swore he like he spoke. I spoke back, and that was that. You know, further down the line, we're like a month and a half into deployment, I think, or almost two months, and we are about to be going to Sweden. So there was this one day where um, when we were in Sweden, we were in Sweden for a couple of days, and I'm literally like in my MWR office that I was working in, and I'm just like crying my eyes out. I'm so fresh with the relationship I was in, and I'm just like I go to my rack that night, and I'm like praying to God, like Lord. Please give me a sign that, please give me a sign that I should either stay with him or break up with him. You know, but God though, he, he, he works in a mysterious way sometimes. So I was like, you know what? Disregard that. I'm going to be more specific with you, Lord. Please give me a sign that there's other men out there that could love me and appreciate me just as much as he did, but also have better values than he did. Like, so I got really more in depth with the prayer. I kid you not, right? The next day, he's always into my prayers immediately. Immediately. Like either that day or the next day. So... I am in what they would call the chow hall, but we, it's my ship, so it's the mess decks. I'm in the mess decks, I'm eating. Mm -hmm. And I had a peanut butter sandwich, and I'm just, you know, enjoying it, eating it real slow, relaxing, having nowhere to be. I was already off. And from my view, all I see is like, I'm facing this way, right? 
and I don't see anybody behind me. And then this guy, he comes and he sits in front of me. So I'm sitting like this. He walks from like here. I just walk up. I just walk up. Yeah. Like, he just walks up, sits down in front of me. Hey, how you doing? And I'm just like. Why are you sitting by yourself? Stuffed with food. And, and I I'm literally, like, this is the face you made. <laughs> I'm hey. like. Um, I thought it was so adorable right then. I'm like, oh my God. I think this girl is even more adorable. Yeah. I mean, I'm already broken up with my girl at this point. We're, we're yeah, going yeah. to get to mine. He was broken up with his girl. Yeah, yeah. I was not with mine yet. She, so. She's going into things from her end, like first person point of view, and yeah. then I'm gonna go into details from my first person yeah. point of view. So by this time, I had just broken it off with my ex. So he's like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try with someone else, type of thing, right? I said a prayer too. My prayer wasn't answered until a week later. Her prayer was answered the very next day. The next day, and that was him. That was literally him. So he comes, he sits down in front of me, right? And everything in my head is like, this dude is attractive. But I'm with my, I'm with a boyfriend right now that I'm trying to figure things out whether I want to be with him, work things out or not. And then it's also like the number one rumor when you go on deployment, especially on a ship, mm -hmm. whole bags, whole yeah. bags everywhere. Like everyone's just trying to screw everyone. Or I even like stepped on board a Navy ship for the first time. And it's like every ship in the Navy is a whorehouse. And yeah. I kind of saw that. Yeah. So I, when he sits in front of me, I'm like, he's attractive, but I'm going through stuff right now. I have a man right now. I would never cheat. And I'm also thinking he just wants to screw. Him. Right. Yeah. You know, I didn't know him. I saw a good looking Marine. He was cocky enough to come stand in front of me. He had the, well, not cocky, but confident, you know? And I'm just like, ain't no way. That's all he wants. That's all he wants. I just want to think in my head all, while he's talking to me. But yeah, that hurt me so not going to lie. He made me like blush. You know, we were talking. And the first one, the first thing we talked about was God, our, our religious yep. Yep. Re religious beliefs. That was one of the first when things we spoke about. This woman and I, we connected. And Silly, like, like and we, Stanley. the time went by so quick. <laughs> we were sitting at that table for an hour. I was supposed to eat, get up, and go. And I was there for an hour talking to him. And then finally, like, we got to that awkward phase where we didn't have nothing to talk about, kind of. So he's like, well, all right, I'm going to go work out and, uh, you know, start getting ready for bed. I'm like, I mean, I could have. Yeah, me too. I'm going to go. <laughs> I could have kept going if I wanted to. Yeah. But, but I was also trying. I'm like, look. Trying to be settled. This girl's in the Navy. Us Marines, we don't really work on board. They actually have jobs. Yeah. Well, so he I didn't know, know what I had well, going on. Well, did I know life. she was skating in the MWR office and all in the gym. But, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So then what was next? So that happened, right? I go, like, I'm in my rack that night, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, Lord, is this your sign? Please don't be playing games with me. Like, is this your sign that someone else can come to my life and be just as amazing, you know? And so the second day, you know us women, we, they be thinking that they, they see us. No, we be setting ourselves up for them to see us, right? So the next day, I go back to the mess decks, and I sit somewhere, kind of near where I was sitting the day before, and like... I was like, what time? I thought about the time that he stopped by to see me. Yes, like when he sat down, I was like, I'm gonna be there at that time again. So I was there at that time again. Little did I know, it worked like a charm. He came over. He's like, hey, you here again? Pretty much. I'm just like, yeah. We start talking and everything like that. And I'm pretty sure the second day was when I start telling him. Remember, we're we're about to pull into Sweden, like in two days. So I'm talking to him. And I'm just like, you know, I was being real with him, like, yeah, I'm in a relationship and everything. Oh, the, speaking of the first day, he came and sat with me. I got this ring from Norway, and I, it only fits on this finger. And I was like, why am I not going to not get it when it's a pretty ring, real silver and everything, right? So I'm like, it only fits on this finger. It I seven, did not see it the ring. It was $7. I did so not see the ring. So when he's talking to me, when he's talking to me, this is the guilt in me. Like how he felt guilty when he first saw me. I literally was like thinking about it. Like, let me put my hand down so he didn't think I'm married. You know, I didn't want to run him away. I didn't want to run, run a good chance, you know, figuring what was going on with me and I'm boyfriend at the time and like losing maybe what could have been right so i just hit it whole time he wasn't even paying attention to it because for the longest I it was swear, around I like it was around i was like I this so he could it. see it easily but he i'm a respectful guy if i know someone is taken i will never try to mm -hmm. get in between that no, no. that's yeah. how that's how horrible things happen to people yeah so the next Don't day play around with the we're talking to each other everything and i'm telling him like um i'm just being honest about like yeah i have a man and this is what i'm going through with him and Yada, yada, yada. We're talking, we're talking, we're talking. So we hit Sweden. And in Sweden, I, the whole time in Sweden, I am trying to find this man out in port. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to find him somewhere. She thought that I'd be in the, the typical bars. Bars that, that the Marines to. would always oh, go no, to. No, no, no. I, was, no, in, he's, I yeah. was in the high class bars up on, whenever rooftops. I would go to, I, I was on the rooftop bars drinking with officers because yeah. I don't like hanging out with like a lot of other enlisted people yeah. most of the time. I'm and, like, I don't mean to be self conceited. 
But a lot of them are dumb. They get drunk. They don't know how to act. Yeah. Like I hold myself to a higher standard. Yeah. And, uh, so I did a lot of walking around, a lot of sightseeing. You know, I did not do a lot of drinking at all. I had like mm -hmm. maybe two drinks when I was with my boy Murray. And yeah. but yeah, so we're in port, and I'm like, I'm going out on Liberty with my Liberty buddy, my friends, and the whole time, like. I'm texting my ex because he's blowing up my phone. Like, why are you being so distant? I know you got signal. I can see you have signal. Like, just going off. And it was so like, okay, now he's getting worse with how he's responding. This is God telling me, like, this is your sign. You met someone else. This is how I took it. This, you met someone else, sweet dude, whatever, and your ex is going off right now, right? Because it just blew up out of proportion. So I'm like walking through, you know, Sweden, trying to enjoy being in a, in a different country in Europe. Mm -hmm. And I'm having to walk like this. Having to call him, like, please stop, please stop. I'm like arguing him on the phone while I'm walking with my friends. And they're like, what's going on, right? Like, it was just so embarrassing what I was going through with that. And meantime, so like later when I stopped texting him, I just started ignoring his calls like that. I'm thinking about this one. I'm like, where is he gonna be at? He's probably a typical Marine, a jockey dude in a bar. I'm like, I don't even drink like that. I drink wine and champagne, that's it. I don't take no shots, nothing, no hard liquor. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go into bars. You know, and that's a place I would never go into. So I'm starting to walk. I'm having my friends like, you want to go to this bar? And of course, they're like, yeah, let's go get drinks. I'm like, yeah, uh-huh. The whole time I'm just trying to, like, we're bar hopping. The whole time I'm trying to find this one. Never found him. Finally went back to the ship and everything. And I was like, okay. He said they, for the most part, would. so we had Liberty. Liberty means, like, Liberty expiration was when you have to be back on board, you know, or else you're going to lose your privilege to go out the next day or for the whole deployment. So I'm like, okay, I sit in this big area on my ship. It's called a hangar bay. And I'm waiting for all these people. The later it gets, the more drunk people are when they come on. The responsible ones came on like at 6 p.m., 7, 8, 9. The ones who were like getting effed up and blackout drunk, they were coming like right before midnight hits. And yeah. so this one, it didn't really help his case, but I still thought he was cute, right? So I'm waiting in the hangar bay, just posted up on my phone, getting signal and stuff like that. Past my bed, so I'm going to sleep early. And I finally see him in the corner of my eye laughing with his, with his friends and they're walking on. Mm -hmm. And it's like 11.30. He had 30 minutes left or else he would have been in trouble, right? So in my head, I'm like, oh, he's one of them. Yep, okay, you know? He comes over. The confidence this man had, it was, like, so, like, confusing. I didn't know if I was supposed to be attracted to it or it was, like, a red flag. He came over to me, and he was like, hey. And, like, you know, him and his friends, they had to go sign back in. So we were talking. He's like, hold on, I'll be right back. I'm like, okay. He comes back, and he, I don't even think he remembers, but he put his hand on, like, my leg. Like my leg I is here. I remember getting close to you. And he like put his hand. He sat his hand on my leg. I didn't. I've been this guy for like four days. Four days. I thought that I was like playing around with you and like did something like that, like you know whatever. Yeah, but he know. was. He was. I don't know. I, you know, he probably had like one or two drinks, so he just felt good. I don't know what it was, no, but no. he was confident. I don't. And I like it. He was confident. At the end of the day, I like it. You know. And no, I wasn't broken up my ex yet, but the way I felt for him already, I was like, you know what? I know what I have to do. Next day out in port, you know, I am um, talking to my ex. That's when I broke up with him. It was real messy and everything. That's besides the point. You know, it's not about my ex, about me and him. And so I had invited him to come to the office that I stayed in, right? Because we have a big TV and Xbox. So like, you can come to up here if you want to talk to your family. You know, I had the outside line if you want to call back home. A lot of Marines didn't have that option. So him meeting me was also a plus because he got to use an outside line all the time to call his mom and dad and everything. So he would come to the office. And I was, I would give him the rundown about everything I was going through my ex. And mm -hmm. this one day I had him read one of the emails, my ex and him like, look at this. I can't do this anymore. You know, I started crying. That was when I cried in front of him. Cause I still see him as someone who like, I'm not going to fully put my trust in him and try to be in a relationship if I'm trying to get out of one or figure out the one I'm in. Yeah. So meantime, I have a crush on him, but I'm still being like, I'm still thinking about my ex and his feelings. And I had day. an enormous crush on her beyond belief. And I had no clue. I knew... Like, I, I knew this girl was, like, whew, I've never met any girl like this before at all. Like, the, the stuff that we clicked on and connected with and yeah. how I fell for her after only a few days. Yeah. I'm like, man, if I tell anyone else how I feel, they're going to laugh at me. We're on deployment right now. But they're going to the think that's it's not true. Truth, and yet here we are. Months and even now, been. today, like, when I go to his base, they're like, are you still with her from deployment? Like, yes, this is real. But no one believes that until you prove it to them, you know, outside of deployment. So. Uh, she was very beautiful. And uh, come to find out, she was very beautiful on the inside and the outside. So, yeah. He said one start. of the things he noticed first was how I dressed at 
when he like in Norway actually because you had noticed me again in Norway so yeah. you know who this man was at all never talked to him and he said that he noticed like how yeah she, I, she had walked by me once and I'm like oh my god like I've already taken notice of this girl this and I like I saw her in civilian attire and uh I wasn't really telling anyone when about people it. dress in civilian attire that's how you get but, to know like how they are though because some girls dress a little yeah, raunchy yeah. some are like yeah. more classy you know some dress like how you would have never thought. It's just you get to really see their personalities through, like, you know, how they dress. Yeah. And um, so I, I had taken notice of that before even coming to sit down with her. After she basically covered it all, um, we started, you know, going to the MWR office, watching movies until six in the morning, getting to know each other, not doing anything weird, you know? No, we of course board. not. We were a very appropriate the we, entire time. And that's what actually built our yes. relationship to be even stronger. Yes. Because that wasn't even in our heads. And, uh, yeah, and I mean, I love that. And with me, like, that, that's ideal. You know, I'm all about romanticism. I'm all about um, doing things a certain way, you know, falling for someone and getting to know them mentally, spiritually, mm -hmm. before ever getting to know them physically. Um, because we're talking I, about I believe that... We're talking about God every day, so it's just like, yeah. that would be, what would you say? That would be contradicting if we had those thoughts and those actions at all. Like, yeah. let's talk before, about God every day. Before starting to really confess our love to one another, just, yeah, yeah it would have been. Um, could we have gotten away with it? Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, we, we got to know each other, like, really well. And the first time I even told her that I liked her, <laughs> it, it really hurt me. Really so, hurt. going back to where I left off on, I had asked a friend if, like, I was like, hey, I know you're close with, um, you Thomas. know, uh, you know, Thomas and all. Because um, my last name's Thomas. Can you just, this is like, it's been about a month now, almost. And I'm like, can you just see, like, does he like me? Does he not? I'm very confused. Be subtle. It's like, be subtle about it. Don't tell him I told you this. Just say that you just see how he is around me or something like that and act like, you know. And this so, woman was a female, a, a good friend of mine. I did, you know, come to find out she had a cross on me. Man, how many people are we going to throw into the bus here? <laughs> I know, right? Uh, but anyway, we can get into detail about other people in another video, but it's not really about them. They're just. When I tell you, I was not looking like at we got any other girl. Like, there, yeah, there was like people that had crushes on both of us, but yeah, I perfect. only had eyes for her. Like, yeah. absolutely. Mm hmm. Absolutely. And so when I had asked her, like, don't throw me under the bus pretty much. Like, just make it very subtle. The she comes day, up, hey, you really like this girl? You trying to F. I asked her, like, I'm like, he, my heart drops. Okay. I'm like, what? So we're in the office. I'm over here. Hold on, hold on. We're in the office, right, the next day. And I can tell he's been a little bit different. He finally just says, like, you know what? Hey, um, uh, so-and-so told me that you asked her this. And I was like, oh my gosh no 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 like i'm just like my heart's racing like cause i don't know if he likes me i thought he's friends so i'm thinking he's about to like shoot me down or just like be like what i don't know whole whole bunch of thoughts going through my head right and he's like um i was like how did she ask you like why did she i told her to ask the way i just wanted to know i was confused he's like how did she say yeah you really <laughs> like tom or, or no, no no she's asking me do you like this girl you just trying to f i'm like <laughs> no i really like her what like i've i told her straight up because, um, you know, she used to talk to me about personal things, and I would talk to her about personal things, not even knowing that she liked me. I mean, I had an idea, but I didn't look at her like that. She was, you know, a friend. And this girl liking I'm him, she sees her. him, like, coming to talk to me all, like, all these different days. I'm talking to her. Like, I'm like, yeah, like, look, um, you know that toxic relationship I told you I got out of, and this woman that I noticed after finally getting to meet her, because I already told her, like, look, this, this woman is, is really, like, really attractive. And after getting to know her, I'm falling for her like crazy. And it sounds weird. I promise I don't have boat goggles at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm like, I'm actually having legitimate deep talks with this woman and I'm falling for her. And I haven't even known her for that long. It's been about and a month that we've really known each other. I was like just staying up, like thinking about everything and like always looking forward to seeing her, you know? So and cute. so, yeah, it, it hurt. It hurt me really bad because I'm like, dang, after like, taking the time to tell her things about myself and what I believe in, and she has done the same thing with me. Dang, she, this is how, you know, she doesn't know what to, she still he, he has that doubt. Like, like, yeah, she still but, has this uh, doubt, like, how do you not know that I like you? That's what he's thinking in his head. In my head, I'm like, man, can people, be are actors. people are hoes, people are hoes, everyone's screwing, everyone's screwing. So I'm like man, on this defense mode in my head, like, 
save yourself, save yourself. He doesn't like you, doesn't like you. Yeah. He's just acting. It's just an act, just an act. And so I'm like, yeah, that, that's not. The and case. he's like throwing his whole heart into it. So everything I've ever said, he's just like, oh, it's ripping him apart every time. Yep. So. And uh, well, she started talking to more of my friends, and. Uh, but that day was... though, that that day though, not to cut you off, but um, when he brought up to me that she was like, are you just trying to screw or what? <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, he had told me like, look, I actually really like you and I'm kind of, you know, bothered by the way that you can't tell. I'm like, oh, well, in that case, I do like you too, but I just still got to protect my heart. It, yeah, it, it's a little awkward. Not knowing that she had already bought me a gift in Sweden. In Sweden, because he's on my mind. I broke up with my ex and all that. So I bought him this little bracelet. Not like, knowing that until the end of deployment. She forgot all about it too after we'd started been dating. Yeah, like, we had already been dating for like two yeah. months, three months almost. Yeah. And yeah. So anyways, we're to speed this video up a little bit though, we're still gradually keep on talking. You know, we know what we like each other. Then we get to France. Well hold on, hold on. The first time that I told you I like I you know I like you, she didn't really understand it. And so I'm like, okay, I don't want things to be weird. Like I've I enjoy talking to you. You enjoy talking to me. Yeah, and he was like, and I know that you we, broke up with I your ex. I love the talks that we have, mm -hmm. and I know you don't want to move things forward. She didn't really know what to take it. So mm -hmm. we keep talking. Nothing's weird. We're still friends. We're still talking about things that matter to Nothing's us. Nothing's changed life. between us at all. And I, I like that because it, like, we were, it, it showed me that both of us were very mature, and we could keep talking like adults about stuff that we believed in. Yeah. And then, like, not even two weeks later, I'm like, look. He was like, did you know what I meant the first time I told you? <laughs> I really like you, like a lot. I've never felt this way for a woman before. Like I'm really, you're, you're different than any woman that I've ever met. And uh, then she kind of confesses about how- I've been feeling and everything. Yeah. And uh, you know, so we are, I um, would call it more like in the dating stage. To me, dating is when you're going out, you're getting to know somebody. It's not like you're official. That's a relationship. We're in the dating yeah. stage, you know. Most people would call it the talking stage, but yeah, that's I don't like that. that. We don't always like. That's yeah. like that's an immature. I think talking is like immature. You're dating someone. You're getting to know them. You're going out on dates. You're dating someone, right? Whether you're dating some people date multiple people at once, you know. But that's what dating is, though. Yep. And so we and get to France. And then we kiss for the first time. Yes, the next that day. Was the next day. Before we got to France. Yes, the next day. He kissed me. He think he's so smooth. This is us, right? We're sitting down. He's like, "What's that over there?" And I already knew what he was going to try to do, so I just like, I'm like, playing along like, I don't know, and then he just goes, <laughs> this video, because you guys don't understand how heavily our relationship was built on a good foundation already. Yes. We started actually dating in France, right? Mm -hmm. We were in France for two weeks. So me and him, instead of going out to bars and stuff like everyone was doing, oh, we, we, we were, were setting up, we were planning dates. dinner we dates in France. Walking we were around, planning, yeah, we were walking around, meeting around. the French people, yes, talking yes, yes. to them. We Absolutely. were... Planning a picnics, picnic with picnics, wine yes. and laying in the grass area, just enjoying everything about typical, France had to offer. Like the typical, like romantic European date that you would think of. We like tried to make your, it feel like we weren't on deployment as exactly, best as we could. Exactly. We'd go out into the grass and like there was a view of the ocean with like yeah. a, a valley. It was beautiful. Yep. But yeah, that's that's basically how we met. You know, there's a lot and more that's happened since out. then. And, and we and confessed our love for one another yeah. by the end of deployment. Mm -hmm. um, like it just. It's unreal how we feel about each other and we're just so happy that we get to say not only do we meet to the military on a deployment where everyone else is out here cheating, we're making something like even stronger. Everyone's breaking up and cheating and we're coming together as and one. And everyone else is also, they're they're getting at drunk. They're not Yeah, and we're experiencing experience. together going on these dates. And so we went to France. That's when we started dating, right? Yeah. So we're in France together experiencing making it romantic. Then we went to, where did we go? Finland. Then we went to Finland, Helsinki, Finland together yeah. and made that romantic. Yeah. Then we had um, Latvia. Latvia, Lithuania. Latvia. We went to Poland was on our last Poland. part. So yeah, yeah. we apologize for how long it is, but I do know that there are some people out there who are watching it from beginning to end because they wanted all these details that we haven't been able to sit down with them and tell them. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button down below. Please comment anything you want to say. Okay. Um, positive reinforcement anything negative like not negative but like say what you want to see or what you probably didn't like just give us feedback please yeah and we um, can do a q a exactly yes and, and like hit that. the bell button so, so you're always updated with every video that we post yep. please subscribe and love you guys and thank you so much for watching we did it I'm sorry, I'm sorry. oh go ahead i'm sorry anyway 
Uh, like, we had no clue we would go on deployment on this boat. Yeah, and especially fall in love with someone and find the love of our life to find our soulmate. Like, we had no clue. Yeah. yeah. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last came.